the UK's first ever Muslim LGBT plus pride festival is finally happening. Hmm. LGBT plus Muslim group Iman has set the date for the UK's first ever Muslim Pride Festival. The event will take place in London on Saturday, April 11th, the group announced on social media. Iman announced it's happening. We've set the date for the first ever, in all caps, Muslim Pride event. Tickets go on sale in two weeks. The event will take place in London as it, at an as yet announced unannounced rather venue people from across the lgbt plus community gave money to make the event happen with a crowdfunding campaign raising ten thousand pounds to help fund it so it says that on um, one of the things they're saying is that um Muslim pride will bring together people who face homophobic, transphobic, and Islamophobic abuse for being themselves. And they want queer Arab speakers, well-being practitioners, and service providers interested in taking part in panel discussions. And um, they're just... They're talking about the spokesperson from the group said, we as LGBTQIA Muslims often find ourselves isolated without community. And um, this event will be incredible and we'll have a place where we can be together and be ourselves because we're often caught in the middle, they say. Mm. We don't just have one identity. Yes. Yeah. I don't support this. Do you support this? Uh, you know, I don't really care what people do or what they call themselves. But I think it's really interesting. Like, there was a picture. I was doing some research on this. And I was doing, and I looked at some signs that um, people it's, were holding when they were lobbying for this. It was a big parade. And it says, like, Mashallah, my grinder date is halal. And it's not. Um, eat halal sleep with a man and so it just love is not haram and then what's really love is haram by the way for people then, that don't know for people that don't know what you're saying halal means islamically as acceptable oh, and right. haram haram means it's is islamically it's a sin right and but what's super interesting beyond the signs is that in the foreground one of the most visible participants who's holding a sign that says Iman Muslim LGBTQIA support is a person, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, in full niqab, full niqab, including gloves, hmm. with like pink and purple rainbowy sunglasses, so you can't even see this person's eyes. So I thought that that was very just, I don't even know where to go with, some of that hmm. so, it almost seemed to me often in some of these and people might get upset with me it doesn't necessarily have to be in um the lgbt communities but in some of the leftist communities there's almost a fetishization of the cover and all of this so i don't know if that's part of it or what but it just that just seemed i didn't know what to think about that so so okay so here's the thing um, these people are going to get disagreement and pushback from three sides and support from one side. Okay. The, the support that they're going to get is from this woke leftist types. They just going to love this. This is like their, and, and mix of all the virtue that they want to just like, oh, oh my, yeah, like gay. The woke and These people are, are both screaming themselves. Yeah, they are. They're like, this is woke gay. Woke and Fanny are loving it. Wait, so they're like, these are, these are gay. They're brown and they're Muslim. Oh my god, and they're wearing a hijab. Like they're just they're just having an orgasm over this, right? So this is their oppression yeah. index rating is through the roof. <laughs> right, like so they're like, <laughs> they're like you're just gonna worship these people. Like, okay, just tell us how, what you want, and like you guys are our masters, right? So those that's the support that they're gonna get. Okay, so the disagreement, the pushback they're gonna get, and I'm in one of those people, right? So they're gonna get pushback from 
ex-Muslims, including a lot of gay ex-Muslims, right? They're going to get pushback from bigots, right? And for them, these people are extremely, like, the mix of everything they hate. Like, they're gay and they're Muslim and they're brown. So for the same reasons why they were the wet dreams of the woke leftists, they're, they're the... They're the symbol of everything that the bigots hate at the same time. I'll get back to the ex-Muslim atheists, why they, why we push. We don't hate them like the bigots do, but we are disagree. We're, I'm against everything they stand for, okay? And I'll tell you why. Um, the other group that they get pushed back from the most and, mo and the most hateful one, right? So you've, you would think that the, the pushback from bigots would be the most hateful one. You are so wrong, so wrong. The most hateful pushback that they're going to get it f is from average mainstream Muslims, okay? They hate these people's guts the most. Um, and they hate these gay Muslims that are advocating for LGBT stuff more than... Me, more than ex-Muslim atheists, right? Like, imagine, like, I, you know, imagine how much, how much hate they must have for them. As somebody, I burned the Quran on cam, on, on, you know, on video. I have had, um, I have had many, many death threats, but not as much as, you know, my activists in Islamic countries, of course. I have so many people, I have get so many messages of hate, I can't even count anymore. Uh, on a weekly basis and this is going to be nothing compared to the hate that these people are going to get from you know from you know it, even though i'm an ex-muslim and a lot of people think apostates are the worst for especially apostate women ex-muslim women is uh, they get it the uh, worse than most people right but no these people these these gay muslims they get more hate from Muslims than anybody, okay? Especially if they're advocating for LGBT. And these people are going and doing this whole pride thing, pride festival as a gay Muslim, they're they're risking their goddamn lives, okay? So, and, I mean, I admire that they're standing for something. But, but just because I admire, you, you know, the fact that they're standing for something and they're pushing for things that they believe in, that doesn't mean I support their position. These are not mutually exclusive. A lot of people are like, oh, Armin, you know, why are you not supporting them? These are brave people. They're standing for what they write. Like, you should support them. They're gay. They're, they want to be great, gay and proud of it. All that. Yeah, I mean, just because I, I support them as people and I support their rights, and, you know, people are like, oh, they have a right to do this. I'm not saying I, they don't have a right. I'm just saying I disagree with their position. Just because I disagree with their position, that doesn't mean I have to agree with their position. You know, I, sorry. Just because I disagree with their position doesn't mean I don't support their right to fight for their position, right? So, I mean, these are some simple things that... People are dumb. People are stupid. Like, I have to explain these every time, right? Uh, but the reason why me and a lot of other, again, hashtag not all ex-Muslim, a lot of other ex-Muslims, including ex-Muslim, gay ex-Muslims don't like what the, these people stand for, is because they support Islam, right? And they're giving the false impression to a whole bunch of woke leftists that Islam could be pro-gay. It can't! It can't! Okay, Islam and gay and LGBT and you know anything like these people are like oh I'm gonna sleeping with a man is halal. It's not. It's a sin. It's haram. You people are the lowest of the low in the eyes of Islam. Okay, if Islam is pro gay, it's not Islam anymore. Okay, I mean it's in Hadith. It's in the Quran. Are you gonna separate the Quran from Islam? If you separate the Quran from Islam, is it still Islam? It's not Islam. You guys are promoting an ideology that is against your entire identity and everything you stand for. You're promoting a disease. You're just like the anti-waxers. 
and you're just just like may, and people would rather instead of doing research they might just they'd rather just look at you and instead of looking at 99 percent of muslims worldwide and what they believe in they just want to highlight you i'm like oh islam could be pro-gay you know you guys are with the very small number that you have you're giving a false impression of what this ideology stands for and you are making our job which is fighting islam harder harder you you're you're promoting an ideology that is against uh, you're betraying your fellow gay rights activists because you're promoting an ideology that stands against all the work that they're doing and for that i will always be against uh, everything that you're promoting and what you stand for okay now, even though i might like you as a person I, I if somebody wants to take it right away and somebody wants to stop your festival somebody wants to take your permit away i will support your right i will stand with you because you have every right to do everything you want to say but i do not support what you say even though i support your right to say it okay you guys are dangerous. You guys are more dangerous than Islamic preachers. That's what I like, mainstream Islamic preachers. Because you're making fighting Islam harder. Uh, let me see what the top comment... The top comments are just memes. Okay, here's one. Harris is saying, having contradicting belief is uncommon for religious people. Isn't uncommon. Sorry. Having contradicting beliefs isn't uncommon for religious people. Yeah, I mean, it's un not uncommon for almost everybody i'm sure i have some beliefs right now that are contradictory to each other i just don't know what they are because if i knew i would stop having those beliefs right well you kind of talked about some that might seem contrary when you were talking about like the anti-vax thing hmm. like being limited government not necessarily contradictory but how sometimes you for one thing but only to a certain extreme. And then you were talking about putting uh, people who don't vaccinate their kids, making it illegal. And you're like, no, I'm not that extreme. That would be right. too contradictory. You know, I mean, you've kind of been talking about that a little bit. Right. No, but I don't, time. but I'm just saying that I don't yeah. know. I don't think that's contradictory. If I did think it was contradictory, I would stop. I would and ah, stop okay. I misunderstood one of them. You. Right. I'm just saying that I must have contradictory views. Everybody, um, I think. Oh, for I th sure. I think everybody has some contradictory beliefs that they're not aware of. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, because we're not perfect right but i'm just hoping that i i don't i'm hoping my contradictory beliefs whatever they are are not as dumb as be, <laughs> being a gay muslim okay or being for lgbt and islam at the same time okay i'm hope i'm not that stupid i'm hope i'm less stupid still some stupidity in me but much less than that, okay? Um, <laughs> all right, let's... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.